Hello and welcome to another Fate Grand Order video. Today we finally got the 7th anniversary on the English server of the game. And yeah, I can't actually believe they did this, but they gave us the Destiny Summon early. Like one year early. And for those of you who don't know, this is basically a special cheese's R banner where for 30 paid quads you can roll on a banner where you basically choose the entire 5 star pool. Um, you can choose like one servant of each class and you know basically get one of these servants that you yourself chose to be in this banner which is kind of amazing it is kind of a pity that it uh, costs 30 paid quads instead of the 15 paid quads that uh, jesus has us usually cost um, but still i think it's a pretty good deal and i'm definitely gonna roll on it i was prepared to you know do like a normal jesus r video and then maybe do some archite rolls but yeah this is completely unexpected um but I'm definitely gonna do this first before I run the normal cheeses up because depending on um, which servant I get here, that might influence my decision on which cheeses are banner to roll on. So yeah, as far as I know, we just uh, click on the summon button and then we can select one servant here per class. So for example, if I go to Saber here, yeah, it's just uh, every Saber, right? Limited and permanent. So very nice, so I can basically just for example, choose Mordred, and then she's here in the pool, and just do that for every class, and then get one of these servants guaranteed. But yeah, I'm just gonna fill up my list now, and then uh, quickly go over my choices after that. Okay, so this is my list. Um, yeah, <laughs> it took actually way longer than I thought it would, because for some of these classes, it was actually really hard to choose. Um, but I think with this list, I can say that no matter who I get, I'm gonna be happy. So yeah, um, just gonna go over the choices real quick, don't wanna drag this out too long. Yeah, Musashi, I really just want to get uh, MP level 2. Um, all the other servants that I really like, like for example Mordred are already at higher MP levels, Mordred is MP level 2, Artoria is already uh, MP level 5. Actually MP level 6 because I got that 6 copy so I could level 1 her, 20 her and still unlock her pen skills. But yeah, Musashi, definitely my main target among the sabers. For Archer I was kind of torn between um, Ishtar and Archuria because I recently got Archuria to MP level 4. So I was kind of thinking about maybe choosing her to get MP5. But I also really love Ishtar and I think uh, getting MP2 for her is just uh, a much bigger upgrade than, you know, getting MP5 for Achuria. And for Lancer we have Melusine. Um, I was actually thinking about uh, getting another MP level for Viridra potentially, um, since I really love her and she's great to level 100. But Viridra is permanent so she can spook, even though to be honest I haven't gotten a 5 star spook in a long time from what I remember. Um, so I feel like uh, Servants being permanent is not really a good argument. But you know I still also really like Melusine. I was like, you know, let's just try to get her maybe. Then for Ryder, I was uh, thinking about maybe going for Maid Altar, but I don't use her as much as Rhinus, and also my Rhinus is great to level 100, so that's why I chose her. And for Caster, we have Merlin. Well, he's, he's a good support still, um, not the best these days. I don't really feel like I need uh, more Buster supports, but he's also just a funny guy, a cool character. I like him. So I was like, yeah, let's just go for him. I was also thinking about maybe another upgrade for Castoria, um, but from MP2 to MP3, she only gets like 5% more... Um, attack on her MP, the attack buff, you know, which I think is uh, kind of negligible. Then Assassin was actually one of the easiest choices because uh, MHX is just by far my favorite 5 star Assassin and there aren't really any others that I'm interested in except maybe Semiramis, but I was like, nah, I just want MP2 MHX. Berserker, on the other hand, was one of the hardest choices because if we look here, um, as you can see, I have MP2 Morgan, MP2 Musashi and MP2 Etchan. And everyone else is not summoned yet. And yeah, the thing with the Berserker class is just that most of the servants there just don't interest me at all. And the three that do interest me are all MP2 already. So I wasn't really sure which of the three I wanted to get to MP3 the most, since I love all three of them. Um, but it was like for farming, which Morgan and Musashi are mainly used for, um, more MP levels are probably not that important, because with all the buffs that are going on with farming and, uh, you know, Things like Oberon and Castoria, I feel like they're already doing enough damage. But Etchan is more for like um, boss battles, I feel like, and she's single target, so the MP upgrade is probably better for her. And also, she is the only Grailed servant out of those three, so that was also why I decided in the end to choose her. 
Um, yeah, then we have uh, Space Ishtar, who's basically my main target here. I really, really want MP2 for her. I love Space Ishtar, and I really feel like she would profit so much from MP2. And last but not least, for Extra 2, we have King Protea. Um, yeah, that was also a pretty easy choice. I just like King Protea, and I don't have her yet, so yeah, maybe I can get her today, finally. After all those years. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> so, that's uh, my Destiny Summon list. And now, without further ado, let's just click OK. And yes, I want to summon one of these characters. Okay, it's asking me several times. Are you really sure? I think I am sure. Yes, please give me one of these characters. And also, um, like I said, depending on um, who I get here, it might influence my decision for the GSSR. Because, for example, if I get Space Ishter, then uh, I probably won't roll on the extra two banner, I think it is, on Jesus R. And instead choose another one, like for example the Archer one maybe. But then if I get uh, Archer Ishter here, then I'm definitely not gonna choose the Archer Jesus R, you know? Like, and if I get neither of the Ishters, then I don't really know what to choose on the Jesus R. Probably still extra two then. Because, like I said, Space Ishter kind of my main target. But yes, yeah, so far, just a bunch of three stars. We got a servant. Gold, okay, is that it? Lancer, Melusine. Rivitra, oh my god, I actually got Rivitra. I was just talking about never getting spooks. And I was aware that you can get spooked on this banner. But obviously I didn't expect it to happen. Oh my god. We still get um, one of the guaranteed ones, right? on top of the spook, I'm pretty sure. Okay, that's actually amazing. Because that was the other Lancer that I was thinking of picking. Very nice, actually. Yeah, MP3 Vivitra, I'll take it. And there's the other 5-star. Okay, that's the guaranteed one, I guess. Which one is it gonna be? Assassin MHX. Yes, okay. Yeah, I'm very happy about this. Lee, she's like top three in that list. Not far away from Space Ishter in the ranking. Very happy about this. This went so well. Actually getting two 5-stars here. This is my second ever double 5-star pull in this game. The first one was also on HSSR. So yeah, outside of Jesus, I've never gotten a double 5-star. But it's still amazing, even on HSSR. I couldn't be happier. Oh, this is a new 3-star C, right? I've never seen this one before, yeah. Okay, and that's it. And honestly, amazing roll. Like I already said, even though I chose Melusine for the list, um, Birito was also a very strong contender, and I do technically like her more than Melusine. I just didn't choose her because I already had MP2. Um, so yeah, definitely have absolutely no complaints about this spook. This is honestly one of the best characters in terms of spooks. Like, the only other spook that I can think of that would have been as good as this one is, like, Mordred, I think. And then MHX for the guaranteed one, also, you know, like I already said, basically one of the best I could have gotten here. Absolutely worth the 30 paid quartz. But now, it's time to roll on the actual GSSR. Um, if I can find it here. Okay, there we have Archite, that's gonna be in another video. Um, okay, there we have the GSSRs. Okay, yeah, like I already said, I am thinking about going for, where is it? Extra 2, this one, um, because it has Space Ishter. And I also wouldn't really mind getting uh, Bunny Toria or Demon King Nobunaga. I already have Summer BB and I almost never use her, so MP2 for her would be whatever. And then there's also Quin Shi Huang, who I really don't like, so he would be kind of worst case here. And then the other banner that I was thinking about rolling on is this one here, Archer 1. Because, you know, OG Ishta is here, also Achuria, which could potentially reach MP5 here. And Gilgamesh, I don't have him yet, um, but wouldn't mind getting him. But... Much like with the extra banner, there is a character here that I don't really want, and that is Moriarty. I do like him, contrary to Quinshi Huang, um, but I already have him. 
I also got him from a Jesus R from what I remember. And I just never really play him. He's a cool character, but you know, Novian near being one of my favorites. I just don't know. I really don't know which of these two to roll on. A few minutes later. Okay, I think I have decided I'm gonna roll on extra two. Yeah. So let's just do it. Without further ado. Here we go. Extra two. Please space ishta. Please. <laughs> Avenger three star. Valieri, nice. So can there only be extra class three stars as well? And I think that's how it is, right? With these GSSRs. But even the three stars are just from the class of the banner. Gold spin, okay. Is that the five star already? It's ruler. Oh no, please, 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 Banitoria. Oh, actually, Astrea. Okay, I'll take it. Four star instead of five star, yeah. Okay. Nice. I like Astrea. For a moment there, I thought it could be Quinn Shiwang. Which is what I'm really scared of. I mean, still could be. But let's just hope that that doesn't happen. There have been too many GSSRs in the past where I got my worst case. So... Please, fate, balance yourself out and give me the best case now. That would be really nice. I would really appreciate that. Servant. Good gold. Nope. I mean, these Avenger cards could spark into gold, and honestly, if it's an Avenger, then I'm gonna be happy, because even if it's Mao Nobu, that would still be better than Quinchi Wang. A lot better. So yeah, just show me a gold Avenger card. That's all I need. But it's taking its time with the 5-star. Is it gonna be the last card? Oh, that was a long pause. And it's a servant, so this might be it. Here we go. Avenger! Yes! 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 Oh my god! The first time! For the first time ever, I got my main target in a Jesus R. It has never happened before in my six years of playing this game. Finally, finally I get some luck in HSSR. Oh my god. And combined with the Destiny Summon previously, this is actually so damn great. Not only did I get one of the best spooks possible on Destiny Summon and one of my top three targets there, but then I also got my main target on the actual GSSR. And a bonus Astraea on top. This couldn't have gone any better. I'm so glad. That it wasn't Quinn Shiwang, you know. Yeah, that's just the main takeaway here, that it wasn't the worst case for once in HSSR. I'm not used to this. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so relieved. I finally broke the streak of not getting what I want from GSSRs. I mean, to be fair, I don't always get the worst case. Sometimes I just get servants that are somewhere in the middle, you know, um, which is fine. But it has happened a few times that I actually got the worst case. On Jesus R. For example, one time I wrote on an Archer Jesus R and got Tesla. And Tesla is one of my least favorite characters in this game. So yeah, that happened. It's been a few years since then, but yeah, I, I'm traumatized from Jesus R because of shit like that. But this is the opposite of that, so yeah. Really, absolutely no complaints. I couldn't be happier about these results. And yeah, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Also, tell me which servants you got from the GSSRs. And yeah, have a nice day.